what is analytics engineering and what these analytics engineer really do in their day to day job activities. Is this even a job profile? If it is, then what kind of companies are actually hiring for this role? And at last, what is the sequential and structured learning path to become analytics engineer in 2025? Don't worry, I will be answering all these things in this video. Hey everyone, my name is Shashank Mishra and working as experienced data engineer for last eight years and the founder of Grow Data Skills platform as well, which is India's most affordable and quality driven edtech platform for the data professionals only. So if I have to answer what is analytics engineering, then simplest answer is this meme. Check out this one. And this hilariously explains what analytics engineering is. So analytics engineers basically have the skill set of data engineers and data analysts both. So anyone who do not want to be in the data engineering completely forever. Similarly, if someone who do not want to be in the data analytics completely and forever, then this is the job profile which basically have the shared responsibilities of these two profiles. So in this job profile, you will be also working on the pipeline development side as well. Maybe not in that complex way, the way data engineers deal with it and build it end to end handling all the engineering complexities but till some extent you will be building those pipelines using the frameworks like spark and many other and apart from that you will be dealing with the stakeholders for all that analytics requirement building the dashboard and working closely on your own with that pipeline requirement and even building them from the scratch now i know you have a question that is it even a job profile and companies are hiring for it then let me show you something which will answer these things so if you come to google and simply type analytics engineering jobs check out this first link 11000 plus jobs for the analytics engineer itself and every day there are new job openings are coming into the picture so if i just open it and show you just check out all these things, right? The analytics engineer in the Okta, all these top notch companies, senior analytics engineer in Snowflake. And I pretty sure you know Snowflake, what it is and what kind of company it is. Similarly, analytics engineer in Warner's Bros. Senior analytics engineer in Everbridge. Similarly, analytics engineer 2 profile at Swissray. And if you keep on scrolling, keep on scrolling, you will see multiple open job profiles for the analytics engineer itself. And one interesting fact I would like to share that Netflix is the company who hires aggressively for this particular job profile. And I can even show you if you open the career pages of the Netflix and just type the analytics engineer here itself. So you will see many open job opportunities for this analytics engineer role. And to be very honest, when I came to know about this job profile, Netflix was the first company and I checked its career profile and I saw that how aggressively they hire for this particular job position. So this is definitely a relevant, valid and demanding job profile in 2025. If you want to enjoy both of the sides, the data engineering part plus the data analyst, then this is the perfect fit for you. And now the biggest question is what are those precise, important, most demanding skill set these analytics engineers should know? Because data engineering is also very vast and it has tons of skill set frameworks to learn. On the other hand, the data analyst profile as well, a lot of things to learn in that domain itself. So what is that list of required and most demanding skill set to become the analytics engineer? And I'm going to talk about that thing in the next couple of minutes. I have prepared a detailed learning path for you, which you can follow from the start till the end and it is prepared in a basic to advanced manner and in just a couple of months with your consistent effort you will be able to crack this job profile for sure so here is this sequential learning path to become the antics engineer and before deep diving into it i have a very very important announcement for the aspiring data professionals who want to become the antics engineer we have launched our first live classroom batch for the Antics Engineer Bootcamp. So this is the very first Antics Engineer Bootcamp we have launched on our platform, Grow Data Skills. You have already seen on Grow Data Skills how things are affordable. So this is also a very affordable, quality driven, basic to advanced Antics Engineer Bootcamp, where we have prepared a sequential and structural curriculum from basic to advanced. So you will be learning all these things, including the Python, the SQL, Snowflake, DBT, Spark, Microsoft Fabric, building the ETL pipeline, top-notch industry-grade projects, 
for your portfolio you will be building it and getting all the placement assistance from our side including the live doubt session plus offline doubt session and for the placement assistance part we help our students with the quizzes assignments their solved version of it the interview guide for every single module and single topic which we teach in the classes plus the resume preparation linkedin profile nokri optimization everything plus detailed interview guides for all these modules and the job opportunities which we get from our network and from our alumni we keep on posting in that private discord group where your doubts will be solved offline plus we are also solving your doubts in the live classes so you do not need to worry about anything you do not need to come with any prerequisite just without any knowledge join this boot camp and learn this antix engineering from basic to advanced and you can join it with the special offer that is early bird offer which you can see on your screen use that coupon code and join this boot camp right now as soon as possible just limited seats are there in case you have any doubt any question you can give us a call or whatsapp on this number and we will be able to help you quickly so first thing everyone should understand what the altex engineering is the foundation of it so that you can get the idea about it what you are going to learn what you are going to understand the key responsibilities key skills and tool tech stack which you need to learn difference between the data engineer data analysis and the analytics engineers simple concepts of the data warehousing data modeling and understanding this etl and elt part so this is just the basic overview to get familiarized with the analytics engineering part then starting from this part which is going to be the bread and butter for every data professional we already know that is sql and in any data related job profile in the interviews sql will be demanded till the advanced level not just the easy medium level so here you can see these are the topics which you need to cover in the basic and in the advanced sql plus data transformation techniques optimization part because this is also something which will be asked and whatever i have listed here in this learning path all these things we are covering in our boot camp end to end and then the data warehousing systems plus case studies like having a proper case study and understand the entire sql implementation with the proper data set and the use case then coming to the data warehousing concept for cracking this analytics engineering round in any top company there will be a very important round named as the data warehousing and data modeling there they will be asking the practical and real world use cases like design a data warehouse data model for uber for zomato for swiggy for any rental car platform service this and that so you need to know all these concepts from the beginning how to build it and this is something which we are covering with the help of proper case studies so like the data lake versus data warehouse data mart the dimensional modeling best practices partitioning clustering lake house concepts and again the case study as i said we truly believe in the 80 20% formula like the 80% practical learnings and 20% theories and slides this is the formula we follow at grow data skills and with the same intention and with the same dedication we teach these things now coming to the most important part for all that warehousing stuff the most popular enterprise tool in the industry is the snowflake so you will be learning snowflake in depth starting from the basic concepts data loading into snowflake transformation logics how to apply different functions different techniques performance optimization these are the things which are very important and in general in other platform you will not find these things are being covered uh, they will just focus on the syntax is how to do this and that and not focusing more on the interview critical part plus these are the things which you definitely need in your day to day job activities as well uh, how you can optimize particular query and the particular table materialized views etc etc then again a proper case study you can see that after teaching these concepts things are coming on to a practical case study where you will be implementing and applying all these things end to end then microsoft fabric for analytics engineer recently you would have also seen that microsoft has retired that azure data engineering certification because they have brought up the microsoft fabric and even have the certificate around it so this will be a very important and interesting thing for you to learn and after learning this particular module you can even go ahead for the microsoft fabric certification the things which will be covered like the introduction of microsoft fabric data ingestion technique transformation data with notebook and sql 
medallion architecture like building that uh, bronze layer silver layer and the gold layer plus the power bi thing connecting fabric to power bi and build those dashboarding and then managing access and the governance this is also very very important part to understand on the fabric then again the case studies thing right this is what you need to cover then coming on to the dbt data build tool this is also very very popular in the industry and this is something which data engineers use very very frequently right because here you can actually create the sql driven pipelines with the help of models and even orchestrate them right so sql driven pipelines end to end and on top of different warehouses so here you will be learning everything related to the dbt including the testing documentation project part of it the uh, deployment of it with the help of dbt cloud cli plus airflow all these things will be there then again uh, the part which is related to the data analyst because altex engineer will have the shared responsibilities of data engineers and the data analysts so tableau like after doing all this data preparation creating the pipeline having the transform data now the time is to build the informative dashboards for the stakeholders and that is the part where tableau will come into the picture so learning all these basics for the tableau understanding connectivity of it with the different warehouses then the data model creation in the tableau creating different charts visualization and even to understand for which kind of scenario for which kind of use case we need to use which different kind of charts because that is a very important skill to learn for which use case which chart okay then building interactive dashboards storytelling with the data very important and key skills for the analytics engineers then again coming to the case study part like implementing and building a end to end interactive dashboard for the case study then coming to the super important part for the analytics engineers the data governance and the data quality checks so what are these how you are going to apply them what kind of frameworks you will be using in order to do that because this will play a very important role in your interviews there will be questions definitely around it and this is the part where most of the people lack right learning tableau python fabric dbt could be uh, like could come under the easy part but applying these things which are actually the best practices of any uh, data product and any data engineer analyst data analytics engineer should follow it so this is what we will be covering end to end then as i said two industry grade projects which you will be adding in your profile and these are the two project ideas which you can definitely work on and we are definitely going to implement these things from end to end so these are the projects which are at very good level top level which you can add in your portfolio and will add a good experience as a analytics engineer and at last like learning all those things are different parts but applying for the job opportunities getting those job opportunities how to do that learning all those strategies is also very important part and this is the thing where we help our students dedicately with dedicated placement assistance like the resume building session having the ats friendly resume templates how to prepare the linkedin profile nokri profile optimize it how to appear in the interviews and how to tackle different questions if you are coming from a career gap and if you are coming from a different job profile what things to add in the resume how to mention the experience how to adjust the experience a lot more things in depth we will be covering and job opportunities is something which we bring from our network itself and share with the students in the private discord so this is how we are helping our students with the placement assistance and this was all about the sequential learning path which i wanted to cover for the antex engineer as well so yeah that is pretty much i had for all of you in this video and i'm pretty sure you have understood what antex engineering is and how you can become a an antex engineer in 2025 by following the sequential path which i have shown in this video if you want the link of this notion document let me know in the comment section i will definitely send it in your replies and let me know in the comment section if you want the detailed and structural road map for any other job profile i will definitely prepare in this similar way topic level breakdown and will present in front all of you so if you found this video informative and worth watching then make sure to give a like in the big number share it with your fellow friends who are struggling to decide a particular career profile for them maybe this is something which is meant for them 
so do it right now and also if you're new to the channel then make sure to hit the subscribe button and plus the notification icon and before leaving this video don't forget to enroll in the antics engineer bootcamp which is basic to advanced for anyone without any prerequisite you can join link has been given in the description and you can enroll right now as soon as possible just very few seats are left you can use the coupon code to get the early bird offer and if you have any doubt any question any query then give us a call or whatsapp number on this given number and we will be able to help you very quickly so yes that's it for today i will see you guys really soon with another video till then just keep exploring data